to turn up the heat on analytics when it comes to your marketing materials. If you've created digital brochures, magazines, and catalogs, you might be able to tell how many people open your document. But do you really know what viewers are looking at when they open your content? Today, I'm going to give you an inside look at Flowpaper's heat map feature, which shows you a map of content viewers are gravitating towards. Before we get started, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive in. All right, this is the publication that we're taking a look at today. This could be something similar that you have as a marketing material. So if you've got like an online brochure where you're featuring products that you sell or services, you can get a lot of statistics on how many people are just viewing. But if you've got a lot of content in these pages, you really have no idea what people are actually zooming in on. What what are they reading? What are they clicking on? So how do you really get a true sense of what people are viewing when they open? And that's why we're going to take a look at Flowpaper's heat map analytics. So a couple of notes before we get started. This does need to be a cloud publication so that it can record the data. And then when you do have this publication, there's one quick thing that you're going to want to make sure that you do when you're setting this up. And that's in the settings. You're going to want to make sure that the uh, collect analytics and the collect heat map data are checked. And then you'll just hit apply settings and then it'll run through its process and then it will gather the information as you start to send this publication out to people and get views. So let's take a look. So I'm just going back. I'm in the online version. So if I go to cloud publications and I find the flip book that I want to take a closer look at, do take a note that the stats are going to be updated every hour. And so you're actually going to get that information quite quickly on how many people are viewing it, you know, how many pages, how much time are they spending on the page, how many links are being clicked. That information will start to populate a little bit quicker than the heat map data actually will. So if I go backwards and then I can click on this, there's a couple of places that I can access it. Uh, this is just one of them. So the heat map, if I click on that, this data actually started populating. You know, it was within a 24 hour window, but it was technically the next day. So if things are not showing up right away, just keep that in mind that you will get your data. It's just not instantaneous. It just needs a little bit of time to process. And so when you get to this heat map section, we can see where people are clicking in. You know, somebody might have clicked here to zoom in on the logo. We're starting to get this information. You've got a scale here of low activity to high activity. So I'm going to take you through a couple of pages. And then for instance, on this one, we can see that people are starting to click where there's text as if they're zooming in a little bit or taking a closer look at the logos. Here we can see that we've got a lot more activity. So if people are zooming in because they want to see these features on the hats and they're kind of clicking around so that they're zooming in on the text, again, anytime that somebody clicks to zoom in on the text or if they're dragging it or clicking a link, anything like that is going to get recorded as activity. So you can actually see what it is that people are actually looking at on these pages. Taking a look at another page, here's another example of where we can see that people are zooming in. So with this particular brand, they've got different patterns that are featured on their hats. So people might be zooming in to actually take a closer look at that. This might actually give you an idea too if there's a specific style within these products that people are gravitating to. So if we've got multiple clicks on this one, then we might know that this is a, a little bit more of a popular style that people are gravitating than compared to maybe some of the other ones. So the information can be quite useful because otherwise the only thing that we would know technically if we're just seeing how many people open the document is we've got those views but we really don't know what they're looking at so this information could definitely be more valuable and then just taking a look at another page here if for instance this one had a lot of different locations that they were calling out so we might get a sense of like which locations people are interested in more 
just by seeing where more links are being clicked here. So all great, valuable information. So how do you get this heat map feature if you are a subscriber to Flowpaper and you make your flipbooks through Flowpaper? All you have to do is have a creative license or higher and you will be able to get this feature. So let me know what you think. Do you like this idea? Do you have questions? If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I'd be happy to answer anything that you have. I do think this could be a game changer in really getting to know whether or not your marketing materials are having an impact and what people are gravitating towards the information that you're presenting. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.